Aloha, my name is Candace. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about Neville Goddard's mentor, Abdullah. So Abdullah mentored Neville Goddard, and I believe they worked together in the 30s and the 40s. And let me first set the scene for who Abdullah was so that you get a sense of why I am so deeply inspired by Abdullah's life. So Abdullah was a black Ethiopian rabbi. He walked around with a turban on his head and he lived in New York during the 20s, 30s, and 40s, right? And despite it being a time of significant segregation, Abdullah walked around like nothing affected him, period. He lived his life in a way that he was completely unbothered by any laws regarding segregation, any rules regarding segregation. Abdullah was 100% unaffected, unbothered, completely confident in who he was. And I am so inspired by that. It just inspires me deeply. <laughs> and so what I want to do today is to share my top three lessons that I've learned from Abdullah's life because the way he lived his life was bold as can be and it is so profound to me. It is such a great model of how we can live our lives now. And so Again, let me set a little bit more background about Abdullah. So Abdullah was an Ethiopian rabbi. He mentored Neville Goddard. He also mentored Joseph Murphy, and Joseph Murphy was another really great teacher uh, during this time period. So he mentored Neville Goddard and Joseph Murphy, but he also had thousands of students, thousands of students. He was a lecturer and he taught the law he taught the law and he taught the interpretation of the Bible uh, the way that Neville does. And so he had so many students. It wasn't just that Neville and Joseph Murphy were his only students. He had so many students and he was very well known and he lived a luxurious life. He lived a very luxurious life according to Neville. And I'm deeply inspired by that. Because if we think about the time period, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, that shouldn't have been the case for a black man, right? That should not have been the life of a black man according to history and according to what was going on at the time. Abdullah's life was an anomaly, right? And so let's talk about it because there's so much to be learned from how he lived his life. So I'm going to share with you my top three lessons that I learned from Abdullah. The first one, the very first lesson is that when we know who we are, our physical circumstances don't matter. So when we know who we are, when we are confident in who we are, our physical circumstances, our physical environment doesn't matter. The reason it doesn't matter is because we know that our physical circumstances, our environment will change based on our state. So if we are firm in who we are and we hold true to the knowing of who we are and what we want, we know that the physical environment will change to support our conviction, to support our knowing. The physical world responds to our conviction, to what we know, to who we're being. And so Abdullah lived that. And let me give you an example of how he lived it. So Neville Goddard, <laughs> and I'm going to actually link the uh, lecture below where he talks about Abdullah because it's such a dear lecture and it's so cool to hear him talk about Abdullah and in this particular lecture he mentions that um, Abdullah liked I believe it was the opera I believe it was the opera either some type of theater or the opera and uh, Abdullah loved these things. He loved going to the opera and listening and all of that. And 
one thing that was happening in New York at the time was that uh, black people were not allowed to buy tickets in certain parts of the theater. And so Neville had offered to buy the tickets so that it wouldn't be a problem. And Abdullah was like, why would I need you to do that? I'll do it myself. <laughs> and so I just love the boldness of like, no, I know who I am. I can buy my tickets. No legal law will stop me from buying the tickets. I know who I am. I know who I am. So any of these kind of worldly uh, laws or restrictions, they don't apply to me. They don't apply to the person who knows who they are. Now, of course, we're not going to go around breaking laws and things like that. But when you know who you are, you know exactly how to proceed in this world. You know exactly that the world will literally respond to how you're showing up. And so he knew that. So he would go and buy the tickets with no problem. And there was not an issue with it. Even though technically black people are not allowed to buy certain seats, he had no issue with this and would sit right up there in the front row, no problem. And so that's the first lesson, is when you know who you are, your physical environment and your physical circumstances don't matter. You are not affected by what is going on around you. You're not affected by it. It doesn't, it does not, shake you from your state. You know who you are. And so you are unaffected, unbothered by what's going on. And that is huge. It's huge. So that's my first one. <laughs> the second one, the second lesson that I learned from Abdullah is do not settle for partial manifestations. Don't settle for partial. Don't settle for less than what you truly want. An example of this was when Neville Goddard wanted to go from New York to Barbados. He was originally from Barbados and he wanted to go home to see to see his family and to just be home. And so he went to Abdullah and he said, Abdullah, I want to go home, but I don't have any money. I don't know how I can get home. I just don't even see how that's possible. And Abdullah said, you're already in Barbados. You're already there. You're already in Barbados and you went first class. So you're already in Barbados right now and you went first class to get to Barbados. And Neville did not understand at all what Abdullah was talking about. What are you talking about? We're in New York right now. What do you mean I'm in Barbados? And so Abdullah, you know, he just said, you're already in Barbados. Walk the street as though you are in Barbados. And it's done, right? And you went to Barbados first class. So what happened is Neville eventually did get tickets to go home to Barbados, but the original tickets that he got were for second class. They were not first class tickets. And so he went back to Abdullah because he was happy, right? He's like, oh, I got it. You know, I got it. It manifested. Like, I got my tickets to go home. So he goes up to Abdullah, you know, all excited to share with him that he, you know, got these tickets to go home. And Abdullah's response was, who said you went second class? You are in Barbados and you went first class. And he wouldn't say any more about it. He just left. <laughs> and that is a powerful lesson of do not settle for less. And you know what happened for Neville is shortly after he got first class tickets. So shortly after that, he got first class tickets. His tickets were upgraded. And that lesson is amazing because it can be really tempting to settle for partial manifestations. It can be really tempting to be like, oh, I got like some of what I wanted, right? Like I got a little bit of it. I got a taste of it. That's exciting, you know? But no, like the full shebang, right? When you know who you are, why settle for less? go all the way to the end, all the way to the full manifestation, not the partial, not settling for less, the full shebang. I love that lesson. It is so powerful. It is so powerful. 
So that's the second thing I learned from Abdullah is don't settle for partial manifestations. The last lesson that I learned from Abdullah, well, I learned many more, but the last one I'll share today is the power of slamming the door. So what do I mean by that? Slamming the door, what am I talking about? So in the story where Neville was wanting to go home to Barbados, he really wanted to understand what Abdullah was talking about because Abdullah said, you're already in Barbados. You're in Barbados right now. Feel that you're in Barbados right now. Walk the street as though you are in Barbados right now. And Neville did not understand that, right? He was new to the law. He didn't understand what Abdullah was talking about. So he wanted more explanation. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm in Barbados? What? How? How am I going to get to Barbados? Right now I'm in New York. How could I possibly get there? He wanted more information about it. He wanted to understand it more. He wanted Abdullah to give him more information. And Abdullah literally slammed the door multiple times. <laughs> so whenever Neville was like, but how, you know, how am I going to get there? Slam the door. Well, I don't get it, Abe. What, what's going to happen? How's this going to work? Slam the door, right? So he slammed the door on Neville multiple times, even when Neville came back with the partial manifestation of the second class tickets, Abdullah slammed the door. So slamming the door represents shutting down the logical reasoning mind, right? Because the logical reasoning mind wants answers. How am I going to do this? When is it going to happen? You know, all of these, these answers, it wants answers. It wants to know exactly how things are going to go. And Abdullah just slammed the door, slammed the door on the logical reasoning mind, just slammed the door. Nope, we're not even entertaining this. And that is such a powerful lesson because slamming the door on myself has helped me tremendously. Whenever I start to wonder like, well, but how is this gonna happen? Or, you know, I wonder like when this is gonna happen or how, slam the door. Slamming the door on myself, it literally gets me right back into my ideal state. It gets me right back into the state of the wish fulfilled because it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to know that information. I just go back to the end. It's done. I'm already in Barbados. If I'm already in Barbados, why would I want to know how? how? Why would that even be a question? It wouldn't be, right? Because I'm already here. So I don't need to know how. Slamming the door is golden. And we can all slam the door on ourselves. We can slam the door the minute doubt creeps in. Slam the door the minute you have a question about how or when or all of the details. Slam the door. It is powerful. It's simple and it's powerful. And it gets you right back into the state of the wish fulfilled. So those are my three lessons that I learned from Abdullah. And I just... I'm so grateful to have learned that Abdullah even existed because his, exi his just his very existence has inspired me. It has inspired me dearly. So again, the top three lessons that I've learned are that when you know who you are, your physical circumstances don't matter. The second one, don't settle for partial manifestations. And the third one, slam the door. <laughs> So I'm going to include that lecture below of Neville talking about Abdullah because it's a really nice, fun lecture. Um, and that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you are so interested in getting more updates, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when new videos come out. Take care. Aloha.